In this video, we're gonna take a look at several different ways to create handwritten text. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Stunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So there's a handful of different ways to create handwritten animated text. So I'm gonna take a look at a few different ways of doing this. There's the really quick way, but might not work in every situation. There's the right way to do it, which will take a little bit of time. And then there's the ability to do this with a script. So we'll take a look at several different ways to create hand animated text. So let's go ahead and jump in our tutorial and let's get started. Let's get started here. So we have our title ready to go. We have a text good to go, right? What we want to do in the very quick way is once we have our title in here in his own text layer, we're going to right click this text layer, go to create and click on create shapes from text. All right, so it's in its own shape layer now, and that's fine. What we need to do is make sure our shape layer here is selected. Go to fill here at the top and set it to none. Click OK. Click on the word stroke and set it to solid color and click OK. And you just get this outline here, and that's fine. So let's go ahead and increase the stroke to fill up the you know the title like this, and it can go and it needs to overlap. And it's totally okay if it overlaps. It does not need to be perfect. And then let's go ahead and open up our shape layer here. Click on contents. Go to add and add trim paths. This way we only have one trim path. We'll come here to trim path one. Let's set the end percent to zero percent and set the trim multiple shapes to individually. Then let's add a keyframe for end and let's move forward for however long you want this animation to be, in my case two seconds. And we'll set this end to 100%. So now we get this clunky animation, but that's fine. So what we'll do here is we'll turn our original title back on toggle switch the modes until we see this and make sure the original title is underneath the shape layer and here's the track mat so the track mat to alpha mat depending on how well this way is going to work out all depends on the typeface you're using so in this case this looks fine but it's not perfect but you know it's pretty good and in this version it's you know it's not perfect so that's the really quick way of doing this so now let's go ahead and do the way that's going to make this effect perfect so we'll go ahead and delete our shape layer and boom so for our second way, we'll grab the pen tool here at the top, make sure no layer is selected, and we need to start just tracing around our title like this, and just create a path to go along the entire title. And you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily perfect, but you know, if you when you get to a point where you want to loop back, just recopy over that, retrace back, and you know, no big deal. Go ahead and finish that up. So I have this ready to go and I have this all done in one path here and I just really went around, you know, outside the text to cover up the rest of, you know, the objects that we need to have in the script. Now, you can create this as multiple paths if you have words that are separated or one path if you want to do this way, it doesn't matter. As before, we're going to do the same exact thing. We'll come here to the top and we'll set the stroke up to be kind of thick to cover up our title. Then we'll go back in there and go to add and we'll add a trim paths. We'll set the end to 0%, add a keyframe for it, move forward in time, and set the end to 100%. And then make them both easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And then same thing as before, grab your original layer, set the track mat to alpha mat. Now if there's any imperfections in this write-on, uh, we need to go into the path manually and adjust it. So we just grab our shape layer, so like right here, this part shouldn't be on. So what we'll do is just grab this point and kind of pull it back a little bit, but not too far. And then one thing you need to do is make sure you turn on motion blur. Okay, and that's not looking so shabby. And before we move on to our third technique, I want to talk about just adding a little bit more detail to this. So you can see in our main comp, we added this nice glow effect to it. And I just want to quickly show you how, show you how to do that. So if you want to add a nice little effect to it, what we can do is grab both our layers here, go to layer, pre-compose, and then we'll go up to effect, stylize and we'll add a glow to it and we'll come here and we'll set our glow colors to a and b colors and the color looping to sawtooth b greater than a and then we'll come here and add like a nice little blue tint to it we'll increase the glow intensity to maybe like three or four maybe like three is good that's too much then we'll duplicate this effect and we'll increase the glow radius to maybe like a hundred or so and now we have this very nice glow effect and maybe increase the glow threshold to 100%. Actually, we'll bring the glow radius on the first glow to 1. And yeah, that's much better. Now we have this nice glow effect added to our script effect. And boom. Very cool. And the third way of doing this effect is by using a script. 
Now there's several scripts available online. However, I think there's I think the cheapest one that I found was starting at $30. So you can get a script that does this. However, I suggest just getting a template. So what I did here was kind of knock out two birds, one stone. I would get a script and I would also have a template ready for me to go because the template came with a script. So there's a handful of you know templates online that I'll link to. Uh, that will have a script available for you to be able to do this really quick and it, and it is a template meaning that's already designed and you have a lot of options and capabilities with that and the reason why I did the template is because the templates were cheaper than the scripts that I found. Now there might be a script out there that's pretty cheap but I really like the template approach here because uh, for example I can come here and just add the script here and type out my text and click on go and within a minute we're able to use this template that came with a script and we're able to create our handwritten effect really quick so so if you want to take a look at several of these handwritten templates i will link these in the description and at the same time i want to give envato elements a shout out you know what i dislike as a content producer having to spend hundreds of dollars a month to purchase stock footage music for my videos after effects templates and graphic design templates for my business with envato elements i can save a ton of money for my business by spending only 16 dollars 50 a month where i can download unlimited music after effects templates stock footage and so much more for my business needs if you want to learn how you can save countless time and money be sure to check our links in the video description which will take you over to envato elements and for example, this template right here is from Envato Elements that came with a pre-made script. So that's really cool. So now you should be able to create hand animated text very easily. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week. And you can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always be creative.